Hi guys, my name is Sydney Ashley and welcome to my channel. Thank you guys so much for coming back or if you are new, hi girl. You guys, I hope you appreciate this effort because I've been really trying to step up my YouTube game. I have three videos pre-recorded, edited, and ready to upload for you guys, so I hope you love them. They're really, really fun. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. Um, so today's video is going to be a what's on my iPhone video. Um, I'm going to tell you guys a little story about this first um before i get into the actual video so a little unfortunate situation happened to me this past week i don't know why my life is like this it just is okay so i had an iphone 6s it was working perfectly fine guys absolutely perfect and then i updated the ios to ios 11.1 or 11.10 sorry 11.10 and it was starting to like glitch a little bit like I noticed the Bluetooth in my car wasn't connecting properly and the battery would show like 1% but I would be able to watch like YouTube videos for another like 40 minutes after that so that was kind of wonky and then um three days ago my phone started to shut off like every two seconds it got to the point where I couldn't even use my phone because as soon as I went to go unlock it it was just shut off and it was in like a restart loop so I was on um the apple live chat and um shout out to apple live chat because they are amazing they were so nice to me um so we're really trying everything possible to get my phone back up and working so we tried like wiping it restarting my phone as a brand new phone like setting it up as a brand new phone and nothing worked and the most unfortunate part of this whole thing is that i couldn't even back up my phone because um my phone wouldn't stay on long enough to back up. It would just shut off like midway through. Nothing was working. I had two phone interviews on Thursday and I didn't have a phone. So I had to borrow my mom's like crappy Samsung and it shut off like midway through my second phone interview. So that was unfortunate. But they went well. <laughs> just an FYI. Um, so on Friday I was like I can't take this anymore like, this is like ridiculous so I went to Apple and I was there for maybe about an hour and a half they were trying to reinstall the update because they thought the update didn't install correctly the initial time so that's why it kept kind of glitching and restarting but that wasn't the case um they told me that it was a um motherboard um issue and that's basically something completely out of my control. I mean, I took really, really good care of my phone. It, the screen wasn't cracked, nothing was broken. It still looked brand new. So I asked them, I was like, how does a motherboard issue even happen? And the girl was like, oh, like, we're not really sure. It can happen like on impact if you drop it, but we're not really sure. Like we can send it off to our engineers and they can have a look at it. So I was like, okay, girl, you're really saying like a bunch of words that are not making me feel any better right now. So what can I do? Because I need a phone right now. So she was basically saying that the only option I had was to buy a new phone. Um, so I was like, God, help me. So I was like, okay, so what are my options within that? And she was like, we can replace your phone with the exact same phone, just a new one, um, for $440. So an iPhone 6S for $440. Or you can try going to your cell phone provider, which I'm with Telus. Shout out to Telus because they are amazing. If you ever want to sponsor your girl, please feel free because I love you guys. You guys are always so, so good to me. Anyways, so the $440 for the iPhone 6S really did not make any sense to me. I could not bring myself to pay $440 for an iPhone 6S. I just couldn't do it. So I was like, you can keep your iPhone 6. I'm going to go to Telus and see what they can do. So I went to Telus at the Eaton Center in Toronto and shout out to Jerome because he hooked your girl up. Yes, he did. They were so nice to me and um, we ended up 
um, kind of weighing my options and I still had a device balance on my old iPhone because I've only had it for a little over a year, literally a year and a month, I'm pretty sure. So my warranty had just ended. How convenient. How convenient, Apple. I still had the device balance on my old iPhone, so um, they were nice enough to put that on my next bill so I didn't have to pay it all the day that I went. I just had to pay for the price of the new phone. So I was originally going to get a 7, a seven, um, but then I remember that the 7 Plus had the portrait mode, so I was like, oh, okay, I'll get the 7 Plus. Like, it's a little bit bigger than my old phone, but I really, really want the portrait mode. Um, so the only 7 Plus they had in stock was a 32 gig, and I was like, that's going to be like a little bit small for me. Like, I don't really think that's going to be of any use. So he was like, why don't you look at the 8 Plus? So, um, the, the 8 Plus ended up being $160 more than the 7 Plus, but they had it in a 64 gig and I was like um like my old iPhone was 128 and this is 64 but I don't think I really needed all that space so I was like okay I'll take the 64 so I ended up going with the iPhone 8 plus 64 gig in the piano black I'll take this case off so you guys can see so this is my phone without the case on you guys can see it is the piano black you can see my camera because that's how shiny it is and this is just the bumper around it which is removable and then this is the case that I got it's just like a plain clear case it didn't really have that many options but um the guy said a lot of people go with the clear so people can actually see the phone so I was like okay makes sense and I obviously had to get a pop socket because this phone is just so large and in charge so the brand of the case is my favorite case mate you guys know i love case mate i always use their um cases even on all of my um previous iphones all my cases have always been case mate so thanks case mate i don't know what it is but i prefer iphones that have a black front so either the gray or the black ones it, it just looks a lot better when the phone is off to me i don't really like the white fronts and then also with the white it like when you put the screen protector on like dirt gets around the outside and just looks nasty anyways <laughs> so inside the box um there's a little instruction manual you do get the um headphone adapter so you can plug the um the headphones into like your mac or your other like devices um and then you get the charger and then obviously the cord but it's plugged into my computer right now and yeah the headphones um and yeah let's get into the actual video now because i think this intro is long enough all right guys so this is the home screen that you see um when you open my phone so let's just go and unlock that so on the first page of apps i just have my standard iphone apps messages calendars photos camera hey girl how's it going <laughs> Um, and then just all the other standard Apple apps. I'm not going to go through all them because I'm sure y'all can read. Um, then at the bottom I have my phone, my emails, um, Safari, and iTunes. Then on the second page is where we get into all of the good stuff. So we have my Google app, which is great because if I ever need to Google anything, it's right there. Instead of going into Safari, then Google, I just have boom, Google right there. Um, then I have my Snapchat. You guys should follow me on Snapchat. Hey, girl. Um, here's my Snapchat if you guys are interested. Um, follow your girl. We can be friends yes hey follow me guys you can be friends I love snapchat I use snapchat more than any other social media um, then we have my Instagram there's my Instagram there's Kim hey girl um, so here is my Instagram follow me at Sid the kid two eyes three D's here's my Instagram um, I don't really post as often as I would like it's only because I really like taking nice quality photos and it's just so hard to find the good lighting and the right picture but I try really hard to post as often as I can so you guys should definitely follow me on Instagram then I have my utilities app. This is just boringness. Um, the only thing in here I want to mention to you guys is my alarm clock app. Um, so this is, wow, it's not even opening. That's rude. 
anyways that alarm clock app i am a really heavy sleeper um so i like to have like double security so i will turn on my actual iphone alarm and then this alarm as well just to make sure i actually get my butt up um then i have my youtube folder so that just has my youtuber studios my youtube and my image app so the youtuber studios app is an analytics app so you can basically see all of your analytics you can see comments um subscribers things like that youtube self-explanatory and then and my image app is actually for the camera that i use so i can live control it on my phone instead of getting up every two seconds um, and then I have my photography app. Um, I'm going to be doing a video on how I edit my Instagram pictures and how I lay out my Instagram feed in a separate video if you guys are interested. Um, so I will go into all of those apps in detail in that video. Um, then I have my Shazam app. Shazam saves me all the time um, whenever I'm in Zara and I like the music. I'm just like, oh this is a good track but what is it um then I have my games folder um and I just put my emoji in there just to like throw it in there then I have flow free and solitaire solitaire is self-explanatory I love that game um and then flow this game is actually like so sick because hold on if you guys don't know about this game you guys are like missing out If you guys don't know about this game you guys are missing out and this is not sponsor or anything by the way i just really really love this game uh basically what you do is you connect um like the same color um circles to each other but it gets really really hard because it's like oh my god and then there's solitaire we already went through that and then this is my school folder um so i just have keynotes in there my school gmail um my outlook um folder which is also connected to my personal email but i just threw that in there and then files um then i have my vibes folder and this is where i keep my spotify and my soundcloud i can't live without my music so i definitely need those i definitely can't live without these two apps i don't really have um music on my actual phone it takes up a lot of memory and I like I just don't need it so I just use Spotify like 90% of the time and then SoundCloud if it's not on Spotify <laughs> and then I have the Apple Watch app which is not useful to me because I don't have an Apple Watch and yeah this is my wallpaper this is just a black and white photo of me and Christopher um so up top here i have my travel folder so just have my google maps because i actually prefer using google maps over the iphone map app that's my phone the iphone map app um i have my go transit app because i take the go train almost every day to go to work um there's the crappy iphone <laughs> map and then i have uber um and then i have a communications photo this has house parties so house parties basically like you can facetime with more than one person um then i have whatsapp and then duolingo duolingo is great because i used to be in french immersion i used to be bilingual but i don't practice it enough so i really really lost a lot of my skill so duolingo is great because it helps you practice again not sponsored these are just apps that i like um, then I have my accounts app. So I have my banking app, um, my Telus app, Live Nation, Cinebox, and Netflix. It's just a random app. I have no idea what half of these. Oh, Time Play. That's the game that you play at Cinebox. Um, and then I have my Android Wear app for my Fossil Smartwatch. And then Clips, which I'm not even sure what that is. And then I have my food folder, which is the most important. So I have Foodora and Uber Eats. And I think that's it. Yeah, that's it for my iPhone, guys. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you liked taking a peek as to what's on my iPhone. Um, again, if you guys want to see a video of how I edit my Instagram pictures, leave a comment down below. And I'll be more than happy to do that for you guys. And other than that, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for coming back. Please be sure to like, comment, and most importantly, subscribe so you can see more of me and until next time guys i will see you in my next video bye wait what if you guys only knew i am literally in my pajamas right now